Namaste, everyone, and I hope you're so well, doing fantastic. There's a lot of uh, astrology things going on. So I'm just uh, in this video talking a little bit about my offerings this upcoming week. There's going to be a robust yoga schedule offering, and then we'll do a little three-minute meditation to connect to your guides. And I will talk a little bit about my, um, my course, which you're welcome to hop into. You can either choose to hop in once um, per class, or what I recommend is to come in the whole package. 250 bucks for the whole package, but you will get all of the recordings, the information, and the contemplation. So we're working with quantum contemplation seeing how we can hold ourselves in uh, different vibrations. And it's very powerful and super transforming. And then of course I have my little, we have a three minute meditation. And on Wednesday nights, uh, I'll do my um, little transmission, a little blast or so. Okay, so uh, today it is actually Mother's Day in Sweden. Um, it was Mother's Day here a couple of weeks ago, I think. So it's a little bit different, but just wanted to say that, uh, that way I have celebrated my mother today. And another thing that I recommend, you know, before you go to sleep at night, I usually take a water and I, first of all, I bless myself. I find gratitude for the day. Then I bless my husband, all my children, my mother and father and my in-laws and my stepmother, of course. And I bless the house and our property. And as a blessing in for the night. When you bless your mother and father before you go to sleep, something magical happens. And this is from an older practice. So if you want to really, because you have a body, right? And as a divine being having a human form, they gave you the human form. And that is... Um, the most profound aspect to have a body on the planet at this time, because we're here, everybody's here to do some soul work on the school room earth. So before you go to sleep, take your water and just bless the water. Water is powerful. It's medicine. It's alive. Okay, so bless it and thank uh, yourself for your body, for your life. Thank your body, all your cells and all of your chakras. Mm -hmm. So that's a wonderful thing to do at night. Okay, I hope you um, do that as well. So, okay, let's go over the schedule for this week, yoga classes, etc. So tomorrow is Monday. On Mondays, I'm offering on my private Zoom from 8.15 to 9.15, I am offering a yoga class. This class is more of an Iyengar based class. As you know, I am uh, going up to my certification for Iyengar yoga. Um, it's a long process, but I'm, I'm just practicing teaching in that style, which is so profound, holding poses in a wonderful, uh, intelligent way and hugging into the bones. So we're actually squeezing into the bones with the muscle tissues fibers, which creates uh, a squeeze and then release of the nerves, of the muscles, of the bone marrow, where you kind of move yourself around so that you get the nourishment into every cell of your body. It's a beautiful way of practicing. It's kind of how I always taught, just a little bit different. So if you're interested, I'd love to see you Monday and Wednesday at 8.15 on my Zoom. It's a donation class. It's 20 bucks per class or $35 for the two classes, okay? And also, let me just see what day it is. Oh, here we are. And today I'm teaching at Center for Yoga at 4.30. It's Sundays at 4.30. It's a beautiful flow class. I always bring in something fresh. And, you know, I always go with what the energy is of the day and of the week and actually of the month as well. So everything moves in cycles and a good way 
as yogis have learned, especially a younger yoga, we always follow the rhythms, okay? So um, this upcoming week, we also have on Sunday, excuse me, a full moon in Sagittarius. So it's going to be intense this week. We have some stuff going on up in the cosmos where old pattern of being kind of clashed together with new ideals. Remember, you wouldn't be who you were today if you hadn't been the person that you were then. So there's nothing we have done wrong or especially right, but we're using the vibration to learn to either uplift ourselves and learn from what we have done in the now moment, in this now moment, in the eternal now. Okay, this is how we move through this quite intense changes around you, your family, work, money, you know, the banking, who knows, everything, weather is unusual too. So we are part of this whole thing. So how can you go into the zero point, the center of the center of the center and turn on that chakra and find the gift. There's a gift, there's a CD, a blessing in each and every chakra of your body. Okay, that's what we want to work on in energy work. All right, so yoga, 4.30 today, Tuesday and Thursday evening at 6.15 to 7.15 on Center for Yoga. Okay, those are the three standard on my own classes and I'm building them and I'd love for you to come. Then I'm also subbing a bunch. So I'm subbing, what am I subbing? Uh, I am subbing on, yes, on Tuesday, tomorrow is Memorial Day. So I'm subbing on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. over at Yoga World Heart for beautiful Dawn Stillo. I love her teaching and I try to do the way she is teaching. So Tuesday, I'm subbing for Dawn Stillo at Yoga World Heart. I'll put the links below. And on Wednesday, I'm subbing for Dawn Stillo again at 4.30 p.m. And it's Pranayama Meditation. So come to that class. It's going to be great. And then on Thursday, I'm subbing at 7.45 a.m. Um, for Dawn Stillo, okay? So I'll write all of this down. And then, of course, uh, on that following Sunday, I'm back at Center uh, for Yoga at 4.30. But also on Saturday, I'm teaching at 7.30 a.m. for Jessica over at Center for Yoga. I will have this all down so I can remember and you can remember. Okay, now let's talk about the quantum, um, quantum um, contemplation. This is what we're doing in the I am fine and divine. And we're going into week three. We have six weeks. So you can still jump in. I'd love to see you. The class is on uh, Tuesday morning from 7.30 until 8. That's a short meditation and contemplation. And then we go into more of the lecture on the Wednesday evenings from 7.30 to 8.30. And that class is 33 uh, on Tuesday morning and 53 on the evening, you will get the recording and the video and the text. Okay. So in that class, we are being gifted with really practicing together, um, holding space for whatever it is that we are mm, experiencing. We're really learning to master the emotional, right? So I feel like the emotion is kind of like the center, um, like the switchboard on the awakening process. So let me give you an example. Okay, you get triggered by somebody and it feels uncomfortable, okay? We go in to three-minute meditation. You shut everything off and you connect up. You create a beautiful pillar of light coming down through you from high above, from the heart of the Grand Central Sun. Let's do it right now. Why not? Okay. There's a pillar of light coming down over you and through you and holding your whole vibration. 
This pillar of light is powerful. It is shimmering, it's sparkling, it is omnipresent, it is powerful and transforming, it holds you, it goes from the heart of the grand central sum, high above, through your body, through your body, through your body, through the heart, star uh, heart uh, earth heart chakra over you, so I place yours over you, earth star chakra over me so you could feel that earth star chakra is represented by the divine balance of sacred feminine and masculine the yin and the yang okay they are interconnected and they're working together it's a flow okay our job is to balance that it's also the um, left brain hemisphere and the right hem brain hemisphere we are balancing that by coming together okay the pillar of light goes through us to the heart of the ground uh, the, all the way uh, into the heart of the earth we hold the vision of earth now see earth as if you're sitting on the moon or somewhere out there seeing this beautiful blue planet with the greens and white you feel love for the planet and you visualize her clean high vibrational and beautiful connect your heart into that earth into our earth and then you can feel how gaia sophia the consciousness of earth immediately checks up with you so as we continue to work on the quantum contemplation here comes energy so strongly so i'm directing it to you as well through me uh, we're going to take a three minute meditation whatever situation you want to think about maybe it was something or if you just want to have a reset i begin the timer now how do we get in to this present state you put the pillar over you you remove yourself from your name from your personality and you lift yourself up higher higher into your divine self and here you're vibrating high and wide and you see your own body down there below and it's as if it's your avatar body your switchboard where you work you work through your body Okay, now you're expanded and you're open to receive an answer to this question. What do I need to know at this moment? Open yourself up. The guide from the highest Lama Life vibration that best can answer this question, dips your answer into you. When you sit higher in your I am presence, what do I need to know right now for the highest good for all? Stay with that. We're almost through. It's just three minutes. 
And if you're drifting away into sinking land, <laughs> come back up a little wider again, expand. And ask the questions, what do I need to know right now? And if you get something, say, okay. Deepen that. Go further on that. Ask. Ooh, it was so loud. <laughs> okay, so I got an answer. I said, uh, or uh, my I am present said to me, I am loved as I share this information. And I love to share this information at the same time, says my personality self. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I always trust that whoever is listening to this is the one who needs it the most or all who need it the most or all who's curious or interested because you could feel the Reiki flowing in. Okay, so this is a class like this plus quantum contemplation. We hold a situation in love. We're not gonna change it. We're gonna sit with it. We're not going to criticize it or judge it or, you know, compliment it or convince yourself that you did wrong, wrong or convince yourself that you did right. You're just holding it in this beautiful, silky, unconditional love. Go into meditation. You ask the guides, what do I need to know right now? And then you may just get a feeling a realignment, you may just get an answer or a sentence, like I got a sentence today, which is wonderful, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we're done with the meditation, you just send a huge wave of gratitude to that entity, it might even have been your higher self or your subconscious. All right, so robust yoga schedule, I will type it in underneath, and then we have, I am fine and divine, meaning fine, you're not changing it. You're just holding yourself in the highest light. You're contemplating by getting messages. Then you journal about it, right? You're not changing it, fixing it, uh, you know, certainly not suppressing it. That's what we're trying not to do, to suppress it, okay? Okay and enjoy the feeling. It's powerful, it's transformational. There can be emotions that come up that are a little confrontational, that's okay. We hold them too, especially them, without trying to change them. That's your inner child that wants a little more attention, okay? So we work on that. Um, June, I'm offering Reiki one, and two. I know you guys that are watching have sometimes you've done it maybe twice. It's fine. Every time I teach it, it's going to be something new guaranteed, but it's wonderful to get these initiations again. And it's wonderful to come together in loving groups. Okay. That will happen in June. Uh, it'll be a two week process. Okay. Uh, have it up on my website. So it's Reiki 1, 2. If you already have Reiki 1, that's great because you're going to get a reattunement on that. You're going to do the hands position for 21 days. Okay, so we begin that and then you finish the hands positions when you get the new information, the new the names of the different uh, symbols that we use and how to apply them. You continue through that 21 days. Okay, and then we meet up again after the 21 days and have a final class. So that's how that's gonna be laid out. Um, that's in June, which is in a couple of days. All right, but it's gonna be at the, towards the end of June, okay? Uh, the I am fine and divine, continue contemplation. I love to have you there Tuesday or Wednesday night, Tuesday morning, Wednesday night. Uh, we have also the Reiki training, what else is there that I'm doing? I'm doing so many things. <laughs> yes, I offer naturally um, quantum hypnosis um, healing sessions. I have a variation where you can do long distance and I have a variation that you can do here. 
have a super cozy bed here. I have a massage table with an extra madras mattress on. It's so wonderful. I will add a video. I did a video with um, Jesse Sterling, a friend of mine and a colleague. And um, we are, uh, I'll send that YouTube video. It was an interview. He is a meditator. And um, he also did the quantum hypnosis session here. And it blew his mind because he went totally into a whole different life where he was a meditation master in a certain valley that he's in this lifetime familiar with. And he just got that confirmation that all of those gifts are already there. Okay. This uh, Wednesday night for my, um, somebody's texting, <laughs> for my I am fine and divine. We're going to go into the awakening structure. Okay. So that's very interesting. First is about healing. Okay. Then it's about bringing in the gifts. Then it's about integrating it. So there's like action steps. There are four action steps that I will teach you about of how to go about through the awakening process the way that has worked for me. Okay. So that's happening. Quantum hypnosis uh, therapy sessions are available. Um, just text me or email me in regards to those. We'll set up a time. It can take you know, up to three hours when you're here. Okay, so sign up. Let me know when you want to come in and we'll make it happen. Uh, we do need a little pre-call consultation for that as well. Then I also am adding just a simple chakra and meridian alignment uh, offering. It's a 45-minute healing session where I realign your chakras and your meridians for the highest good for you. Um, and high is good for all. And that uh, includes a energy healing, chakra alignment, and I also do a little bit of a reading for you and possibly I'll get a message for you. All right, and then I have my standard healing sessions that are about an hour and 15, hour and a half. Uh, I offer those too. And I also offer a variation of quantum hypnosis for you guys that are um, not local in Pasadena or LA. Uh, so we can do it over Zoom. It's very powerful. It's super transformational. And I cannot wait to see you in all of these offerings. Okay. Sending you blessings. I'm so happy you were here. I hope you enjoyed the three minute meditation and contemplation. Thank you, everybody. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you.